Idology is excited to welcome American Idol season 11 winner, Skylar Lane. To us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was confused for a second. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, I have not gone off my meds. Just to us, it was, you know, or to me, I should say to me, it was like, this was your season. So. Oh, thank you so much. I've, I've been getting a lot of support and um, I'm just happy to have made it as far as I did. Let's talk about where you were before the show. We saw a few shots of you in Beatty Street Grocery, which <laughs> is a very cool name for a restaurant. Yeah, um, it's been in our family for 72 years. My great grandparents started it and my Mamma and Papa inherited it, and now my mom runs it. And um, it's really important to my family. A lot of people are like, well, it just looks like it's going to fall down and everything. But you know, that's like the beauty of it. It's kind of like a museum in itself, really. Right. We have pictures of Jackson back in the 1940s and 30s, and it's we've served all the mayors, the governors, and it's really cool to know that something like that's in my family. What were you doing prior to Idol? Gigging around <laughs> the area? Were you mostly working at the restaurant? I really just played wherever. I mean, we always have little fairs and community stuff. I played at that, and then I was making trips to Nashville to ride. I played some riders' nights in Nashville. But um, I was in nursing school, and I was just started nursing school when I went back for Top 24. And I said to myself, if I don't make it to Top 10, you know, Top 13 or whatever, then I'll just have to go back to nursing school. But luckily that didn't have to happen. You kind of burst onto the scene with Stay With Me. They saw me do You Lie in Hollywood Week and they were like, okay, she's got stage presence, but you know, Stay With Me, I was like, I gotta pull out all the stops. I love this song so much and I just, I really just let it go. You know, I almost fell at the end there when I did my little turn. <laughs> the little mic thing, it was last minute, just did it on stage. The come on, get up, get out. I'd been practicing that and everybody's like, you're crazy, you're psycho scholar. What are you doing? And they still do it. They're like, she does her little, oh, come on, I get up, I get out thing. <laughs> they have a lot of fun making fun of me. <laughs> For your first live performance, that's a pretty racy song. Just so people in the morning when I wake I did think about the lyrics, but really, I mean, it's supposed to be a guy singing it. Right. So I was just kind of like, you know what, I'm putting on a show. I, I don't really think anybody's thinking about too much of the lyrics. Yeah. I mean, didn't you know how much I love you had some lyrics in it too, but it's just a gorgeous song. Stay With Me was a rocking song, and I just think that a lot of people had fun with it. Ken and Nigel would always make fun of me. The producers, they'd be like, I just love it when you say Jezebel. Jezebel, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Where does your brain go when you're doing a performance like that? My mind goes somewhere else, and my hand, I don't know what this thing does. I, well, I hold the mic in this hand, and then this hand just, just loves to do that or something with my hair. I don't even know what I do. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I remember what I'm thinking when I'm singing, and then sometimes times I don't. Sometimes I'll be like, mm, where am I going to go to eat after this? I really don't know why. <laughs> I'm just, I do better when I don't think about it. Right, you know, and just right. sing. You follow up with Whitney Houston. I look in your eyes, and I know that you still care. I thought you kind of did a reverse I Will Always Love You. You flipped it from R&B to country. I tried to change it up each week and stuff. Some weeks do a ballad, some weeks not. Where Do Broken Hearts Go was a big op opening up for me because a lot of people saw that I can actually sing, not just jump around the stage. And a lot of people still criticize me this season. Like on, I know you're not supposed to read them, but YouTube's and stuff. Those are your, that's people that are voting and stuff, you know. They'll always say like, oh, she can only sing country and stuff. And I'm like, what do I have to do? I mean, I sang Where Do Broken Hearts Go and then Born This Way and all that. So, you know, I can do it, but anything that I sing is gonna sound country. That's just how it's gonna be. I'll never let you go. And I was like, uh, I'm not gonna do I Will Always Love You. It was like tackling two monsters if I did that because I'd be compared to Dolly Parton and Whitney Houston. Yes. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and so then I was thinking about the other songs and um, Josh came in and was like, well, you know how this song goes. And I was just like, no, I really like that. I kind of like that. And um, so I picked that one and I think I think it ended up really good for me. And I know that you still care. We saw you sort of have a moment with Jimmy where he wanted you to not do the Bonnie Raitt song. Yeah. And you held your ground. How about All I Want to Do by Cheryl Crow? <laughs> Faith Hill, peace of my heart. Hold my hand, Hoodie and the Blowfish. It's definitely hard because, you know, Jimmy didn't get this far without knowing a thing or two. He knows a lot. And you want to respect his opinion. But uh, that week, I was just feeling the song. <laughs> didn't have that much of a melodic line. It doesn't, it's just that kind of song. I did add the high part at the end and everything. Sneak it, sneak it. All the rest of the songs they were playing, I was just like, I just not liking it too much. I just don't feel it, you know? Me and Lauren Elena were uh, 
Ornalina and I, sorry, were born in the same <laughs> year, and I, they tried to get me to sing the same song she did, and I was like, no, I don't really want to do that. You know, I sang Where Do Broken Hearts Go. Pia did that last year. Right. I don't want to copy again. Yes. Strategy in my head, and luckily it worked out for me. It wasn't my best, I don't think, but I think I did a good job with and the it, song. And it's a nice groove, you know, not just pure country. I Definitely. always felt like there's that other aspect of your... Leonard Skinner, love Leonard <laughs> Skinner. You know, I kind of use them as an inspiration sometimes. Shameless. I've just got to ask you, you kind of had to sneakily correct <laughs> Randy Jackson about who had a country <laughs> hit with it. I remember a version of that song that Brad Paisley did was very nice. It's so hard because I'm sitting there like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was really thinking about uh, Garth's bro version. Oh, uh, okay, Brothers yeah. Version. Oh, thanks for trying, but... Eh, wrong answer. <laughs> I so, forgot yeah. he did one too, yeah. It was a little bit low at the beginning, they said that. I'll do anything at all. But it had to be because, you know, my high parts were high. Yeah. That happened a lot this season when they would pick boy songs like Queen and everything. Freddie Mercury had a high voice, but it's too low for us in those some parts. Mm -hmm. But then when you raise it, it gets too high, you right. know? It's, it's, it's a really balancing hard. Act. I know, it was a real balancing act. The week after that, you did Gunpowder and Lead. It seemed to me that theme was sort of like, pick any song you really mm -hmm. like. But I kind of felt with you, you really were picking your idol. Oh, yeah, she's my idol. <laughs> yeah. There was no accident about it. <laughs> there was it. no accident. I said, okay, Miranda Lambert, Gunpowder and Lead, put it down for me. And I know it was done the previous year, but, you know, it was done for Haley and Lauren. As a duet. But really, that's the kind of music I want to sing, you know. I think a lot of people would be surprised if I get to make an album because I really don't want all of the high parts in my album too much. It makes it more pop to me, yeah. I think. And I just don't want to be pop country at all. And uh, it's just more mellow, you know. And um, with ballads, kind of like The House That Built Me by Miranda Lambert, like right. that's the kind of ballads I love. Mm -hmm. And then the rocking out songs and stuff. So that's the kind of artist I wanted to be. I, it made me sad I was in the bottom three when I sang my idol, but um, I was honored to be able to sing her song. Sometimes on Idol, especially with female contestants, there's this subtle critique of, well, you've always got to pick something with a big glory note on it. I know. But like you said, that may not be the record that you end up making. Exactly. In country music today, not, I mean, Carrie does it, Martina does it. There's those select few that all have those big voices and have those big parts and everything. But, you know, on country radio, there's, I mean, not a ton of people do that. I just want to make a record that shows me. How much do you like guns? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you sang Gunpowder and Lead, you got into it. I'm a very big gun owner. <laughs> <laughs> your guns and ammo is on your Twitter. Yeah, guns it's like... and ammo, it is. I, it's kind of like just a saying, you know, and right. then scout laws, I love that. It's like outlaw and all that. <laughs> I, I love it. I just love the more hardcore raw stuff and um, I love guns. I hunt all the time. See if we see any more deer. A lot of people don't know about it and um, like know about it in the right way. They think it's just just going out and killing animals, which I'm, right. I'm not, you know? Love guns, love barbed wire and everything, but You then, like a venison steak? Oh, love it. Okay. Love my, while, I was out, while I was at the house, my dad brought me some deer meat, and okay. I, I mean, ate it up. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm a diamond-studded pistol, loaded at you.